have here with me Mr. Minus. Today we are going to do some subtraction or takeaways and we will learn some tricks as we go. Yeah, now let us check this out. Are you ready? Okay, so we have 24 subtract 7. When you are told to subtract one number from another, remember to place your values and put the bigger number up first, like this, 24, take away 7. Remember to arrange these numbers according to their place values. Do not forget that. The reason why we put the bigger numbers up first is because it is impossible to take away a bigger number from a smaller number. We can only take away a smaller number from a bigger number. And that is why you have to put the bigger number up first. Now I have arranged my numbers. Now what do I do next? Remember, we start subtracting from the unit. Now on the unit side, I have four take away seven. Hmm, how do we do this? Four is less than seven. And remember I said we can only take away a smaller number from a bigger number. So we can't do the takeaways. Who knows what we need to do? Correct! We need to do exactly that. So what we have to do, we have to go to the tens place and ask politely to borrow just one. Now when we go to the tens place, we borrow one and we put the one beside the unit number and call it as a two digit number. So our four on the unit side would then become 14. 14 is bigger than seven now, so we can do the takeaways. But wait, I think something is wrong. Hmm, what will happen to the number we borrowed from? Does it remain the same? Well, I think not. It reduces by one. So we will no longer have two in the tens place. We are going to have just one because we have borrowed one out from that number. So let us go back to the unit side and let us work out our takeaways. On the unit side, we have 14 takeaway seven. Hmm, okay. Well, we can count 14 strokes and then take away seven from those strokes. Count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good job. Now we have counted 14 strokes. We need to subtract seven from the number 14. So what that means is we need to count seven out of these strokes. Join me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need to count the rest. So how many do we have left? All right, let's count along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14 take away 7 is going to give us what? 7. Now, what do we do? We are going to write the 7 down under the units place. Now that we have solved the units place, we need to move to the tenths corner. And we have just 1 and there is nothing to take away from 1. So we have 1 take away 0. If you take away nothing from one, one remains the same. So all we have to do is just to put our one down. Now 24 take away seven is going to give us what? 17, good job. Now let us try another. Can you subtract these numbers? Take a closer look at them. 
we have 83, take away 25. As usual, you can pause this video and work it out. Well, now let us work it together. Remember to place your values and arrange your numbers correctly. 83, take away 25. Remember to always put the bigger number up and the lesser number below. Do you know why we do that? Well, I think I have explained. We do this because you can't take away a bigger number from a smaller number. So now that we have arranged this correctly, let us start subtracting starting with the units. So we have three take away five. Uh-oh, there is a problem. Three is less than five. So what do we do? Do we subtract anyway? Of course not. We need to go to the tenth house and politely ask to borrow one. Now when we borrow one from the tenth place, we add one to the unit number and call the unit number as a two digit number. So our three would become 13. Now that we have done this, what happens to the number we borrowed from? Does it remain the same? No, it doesn't. It reduces by one. So eight in the tenth place will then reduce to become seven. Now let us move back to the units. We have 13, take away five. Count 13 and take away five. Do you wanna count along with me? All right, join me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now that we have counted up to thirteen, what do we do next? We need to subtract five from that number. So that means we are going to take away five. One, two, three, four, five. What happens next? We are going to count the remaining. Yeah, so join me again to count the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13 take away five would give us eight. What do we do with the number eight? We write it down under the units. Remember, as soon as we are done solving the units, we need to move to the tens place. So let us move to the tens place. Under the tens, we have seven and two. So we say seven take away two. As usual, you count seven strokes and then take away two. Count along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do we do next? Of course, we subtract two from that number. So let us subtract two. One, two. Now that we have taken away two, what do we do with the rest? We count them. So let us go ahead and count the rest. One, two, three, four, five. Seven take away two would give us five. And what do we do? We write the five down. So what is going to be our final answer now? Do you have an idea? Well, it's right on the screen. 83 take away 25 is 58. If you have worked this out correctly, you should get this exact answer. Do not forget, when you are trying to subtract and the number on top is less, you can borrow from the next place value. And remember that the number that lends you must be reduced by one. Now, can you try this on your own? 30 take away 15. As usual, pause this video and work it out. Nice work. 
Remember to place your values. I hope you did that. Well, if you place your values correctly, you would have your tenths and your units because these are two digit numbers. The next thing you would have to do is to arrange the numbers correctly before beginning to subtract from the units. So let us work this out together. 30 take away 15. Let us start with the units. Zero take away five. This is not possible because zero is less than five. So what do we do? Yes, we go to the tens house to borrow one, right? Remember to ask politely though. We go to the tens to borrow one and when we do that, we give the one to the unit number and then call the unit number as a two digit number. So zero will become 10. Remember, the number we borrowed from will also be reduced by one. Now that we can take away, let us take a look at this. 10 take away five. 10 take away five. That will give us five. Now let us look at the tens place. Remember we borrowed one from three, so three would become two. Two take away one is going to give us one. 30 take away 15 gives us the final number you have here, 15. Keep practicing your takeaways. I'm going to see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>